Hey y'all, it's Kathy Bohannon from Kathy Bohannon Creatively Blessed. Today we're making a card from the Peaceful Place Suite in the new mini catalog. I'm cutting a piece of designer series paper from the Peaceful Prints collection. And this piece is five and a quarter by four. We will um, make a backdrop for it with the black glitter paper also in this catalog. Um, there's no glitter coming off y'all. That's, that's the way Stampin' Up! does it. Um, don't be afraid to get their glitter paper. It's great stuff. So this piece is five and a half by four and a quarter, and it will completely cover the card. Now, this paper, you only get two sheets to the package, and therefore, I'm cutting out the center because I, I want to kind of save as much as I can. I can see my cut marks better on the back side than the front, so I'm just cutting uh, around on the back, and this way we are going to have just a little chunk that we can use later. And I'll show you how this works out when you go to put on the next layer. So we're just going to peel that off. There we go. Set it to the side. And now when we place that designer series paper over it, it covers up the hole and nobody knows but you and me, right? Okay, so next we are going to cut our um, whisper, well, our basic white. We used to call it Whisper White. It's called Basic White Cardstock. And this piece is five by three and three quarters. We're gonna use the Peaceful Cabin Suite. I love these sentiments. They're so pretty. Your kindness makes the world a more beautiful place to be. May you enjoy the peace of this beautiful season. Thank you for you and wishing the best. And it's got the cutest little um, fox trotting by. I'm going to take off the three stamps that I want to use. One is the trees, one is the cabin, and one is the sentiment, may you enjoy the peace of this beautiful season. So we're going to peel those off, and later I'll put those labels on the stamps. But it's brand new, so I haven't done that yet. I am going to need to peel off the backs of each one, and that's just a protective covering. They get in manufacturing. We toss that away. Now we're going to get the cabin dies. These also came in the bundle, or rather, they're available in a bundle, which is the stamps and the dies at 10% off, or you can get the full suite, which has everything you're going to see tonight except for that black glitter paper. So when you're taking your dies off, you want to bend the paper away from the dies. Don't, don't bend the die away from the paper. You know what I mean? Especially on those longer ones that have thin, long, thin parts. Um, so I'm just getting a feel for where I want these trees and where I want that um, cabin to go. We're going to use Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I'll show you the cover um, in a few minutes, but here we go. Now, this is a rather large stamp, and typically I would have stamped this on my Stamparatus to make sure I got enough ink, but I'm just, I'm just doubling up on the ink here just to make sure everything gets covered. Okay, but I do recommend the Stamparatus for this. All right, we're just going to stamp it down. We don't rock it. We just place it down. And now I'm going to clean it. And um, this is a stamp cleaner that we have at Stampin' Up! And you spray the left side with the cleanser and you scrub it. And then you dry it on the right side. We also have um, the Simply Chamois, which I really prefer to use. But I, I failed to get it all ready for this video. So here's our sentiment. Everything looks great so far. Now we're getting ready to stamp that adorable little cabin. And I've got a big enough block for that. And again, the Stamparatus would have been great with this as well. It's a larger stamp. And I'm just going to ink it up really well. I kind of wanted to make a quick and easy video. That's the cover to the ink, Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. We do sell that at Stampin' Up. And I'm just going to make sure I've got a good coverage on this little cabin. And here we go. We're going to get just a little more ink on it, <laughs> making sure, making sure I get enough. I only get one shot at this because I'm not using my, my Rattus, my Stamparatus. Okay, so I got that stamped and... We'll look at it kind of close. Let's see. Oh, it looks really good. Now, I want to show you there are some um, space, there are some places on the stamp that look kind of distorted, but it's not. It's really just where the snow is. Okay, so we're going to 
use the die to cut out the cabin and I'm going to put a little washi tape on it. This washi tape doesn't have, you know, a lot of stickiness to it. I've already, um, I've, I've already kind of put it on my shirt and peeled it off a few times to make sure it wasn't going to peel up my paper. And now we are going to use my old fashioned big shot, um, to cut this out. And there's a lot to tell you about this, um, this machine. It's, um, it's just a hand crank machine that die cuts and you um you use shims now stampin up has one called the stamp and cut and emboss machine i have yet to purchase it because i have this older one and i love the color of my older one so I'm, I'm just not in the market to buy that right now okay how cute is this it cut out the window i'm gonna put it against that black so you can see it look at that it cut out the window and and some of the porch um, between the porch rails. So cute. Okay, so now we are going to start putting all of this stuff together, and I want to make sure that um, my card is laying correctly. This is half of an eight and a half by 11 um, sheet of cardstock, and it's scored at four and a quarter to make the fold in the middle, and that way you have your traditional portrait fold card. So I'm just using my um, my Stampin' Seal Plus. And I'll be honest with you, y'all, you kind of got to have a little knack with this. But once you do, boy, it's good adhesive. It really is. Just going to place that down. Now, remember, we cut out the middle because I kind of want to, you know, I want that paper to go kind of far. Um, so we cut out the middle so we're not wasting that. We're going to put the plaid, the buffalo check. It's such pretty paper. We're going to put that on next. And I see I could even go on a little thinner on those borders of that black glitter paper. But, you know, I didn't measure. I was just kind of, uh, kind of just working around it. And that reindeer on the back of this paper is gorgeous. Okay, so making sure of which side opens. I do that a few times when I'm making cards. Okay, so we've got those two layers together. Now we're going to work on... Um, our ribbon, and this is the um, gingham. It's a it's a tiny gingham ribbon. It is not in the suite, and I'll tell you what it's called. It is called gingham ribbon. How about that? Um, black and white is what it's called, and it is um, one quarter inch ribbon. So I'm just going to. Um, to tape the ends onto the back of the card so that I'm not, not using a ton of ribbon to wrap it around. You can do however you prefer to do it. And get a little bit of tape here and tape that down. I've already taped down the first side. Okay, so now we want a little bow. Um, this is definitely take two on this bow because the first one I did just, I didn't get my ends even. So you wanna be sure and do that when you put it through Put your ends together, make sure they're even. There we go, okay. And now we are going to tie our little bow. And it is a little bow, it's not a big one. It's just a little one. Get it good and snug. And we're tying it up. Okay, and when you do this, you can, um, you can trim the ends. You can make the bow a little smaller, a little bigger, however you want. Just kind of fuss with it for just a minute. Get it like you want it. Poof it up a bit and snip those ends. I like to do mine at an angle. Just They just look more festive that way. And boom. Okay. So now we're going to... Um, just going to work with that a little bit. Okay. We're going to put the cabin on before we glue this down. I want to... Um, be sure and put that on there. Now, I did notice that there was just a tiny smudge right there above my thumb, my left thumb, on the cabin, and I was trying to position it where I did not get that smudge in. But guess what? That's not how it worked out. But it's okay. We have a fix for that. So I'm going to use my Stampin' Seal Plus again and just kind of put it on there real quick, and let's just get that guy put on there. Um... One thing about about positioning things like this, when you do this, you always want to 
if you do a layer like this, you always want to flip it over and trim it from the back side so you can go along with the original um, cut of, of cardstock, okay? Um, now that bottom, it just had maybe a sixteenth of an inch sticking out. I don't know. I started to cut it and then I was like, nope, we're going to use the guillotine and get it good and smooth and perfect. There we go. Okay, so now we are going to adhere that, um, that little bow. I'm using a glue dot to put that little bow on. And if you've been watching my channel, you'll know about my bum, 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 scary dental tool. That's what I'm using to put it on. Um, the take your pick tool could have done it as well, but I'm, I always grab that. And there we go. I love it. It's such a cute little card. And I did case this card off of Pinterest. It was posted on Pinterest, Pinterest by Split Coast Stampers. Okay, so we're just going to put our adhesive on there. And this is this adhesive sometimes is a little fussy, but um, but like I said earlier, it's good stuff once you get to using it. Okay, we're just going to put that on there. I'm going to show you how I'm going to handle that. Um, oh, I'm having to fold over the adhesive because I got a little crazy there. But I'm going to show you how to handle just, just a little smudge if you get one, and you will. If you've been making cards for any length of time, you're going to get a smudge. Okay, so see, I'm checking again to make sure how it opens. We're going to use these really pretty little um, sequins, and they are called Subtle Shimmer Sequins. They're also part of the, the um, Peaceful Cabin Suite, or Peaceful Place Suite. I keep calling it the wrong thing. Peaceful Place Suite. Uh, you'll see it in the mini catalog, um, the July to December 2021 catalog. Of course, it doesn't start until August 3rd, but that's because, you know, Corona had its way with all the businesses. Um, but anyway, so I'm using my take your pick tool and I'm just positioning these little sequins and pressing them down good. I put I put the sequins on with the um, Tombow Liquid Multi Glue. You could use glue dots, but I would recommend um, using a liquid glue such as this. And you just need a tiny dot, just a tiny dot. Okay, so we're going to get that other one on here. And that should be the end of our card, y'all. And it's layered. So, you know, between the layer and the bow and the sequins, it's just a really special card to share with someone special. This is what we used. We used the Peaceful Cabin, we, the whole Peaceful Place suite. I hope you enjoyed it, and God bless. Toodles!